Hi East Point Kids and Tots, welcome to another Sofa Sunday. We hope you're all really well. We miss you so much. We miss seeing all your lovely faces, but we hope that it won't be too long until we get together again. Now, today in the story, there are going to be some clues that you will need for a game at the end. So you need to pay attention listen really carefully and see if you can pick out those clues. So get comfortable, listen in and enjoy and have a super Sunday. You are the children that God dearly loves, so follow his example, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1. Okay, so for today's game, Caitlin and Caleb are going to be racing to get their little sheep from one end of the table off the other end of the table and into the sheep pen. But they can only do it by saying the word ba. Okay, on your marks, get set, go. From the side. Three hours later. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Yay! <laughs> so give it a go. Let us see your videos. Upload them onto East Point Kids Belfast. We'd love to see it. Mark is going to lead us in some worship now. So you might know the song. It's called Reckless Love. And it talks about Jesus leaving the 99 to come and save that one person. And um, it's a big clue to our story today and I hope you really enjoy.
we've been doing today but let's see who loves a story Jesus loves to tell stories throughout the Bible he tells lots of stories and his stories were called parables and they just help us to learn more about him and understand his love better now Jesus told a story or a parable about a man who had a hundred sheep could you imagine having a hundred sheep if any of you have pets that seems crazy. I have two dogs and I couldn't picture having any more than two. But imagine having a hundred. A hundred? But you know, this man loved his sheep. He loved every one of them. He seen every one of them as important to him. But one, one was lost. He wandered off and the man couldn't find him. So what did he do? He couldn't see him instantly. What did he think he did? You know, most people would probably say, well, I've got 99 anyway, I don't need another one. But he actually, he, he needed this, this sheep because every one of them was important to him. So he left the other 99 safely at home and he searched for this lost sheep. He searched and he searched and I'm sure it wasn't a quick and um, find he probably was looking for ages, maybe he was tired. You know, maybe he thought, oh, I can't be bothered anymore. But I don't think he did because this sheep was so, so important to him that he knew he had to keep carrying on. He knew he had to keep searching. And he, he searched and he searched until he found him. So this man, when he found the sheep, he didn't just walk with him, he actually carried him on his shoulder. And he carried him the whole way back home. And he didn't just do that, he called his friends and his neighbours and everybody around him to come and celebrate. He said, my sheep was lost, but now he's found. Come with me, come and celebrate the amazing news. Jesus says that this is the kind of celebration that we could have in heaven. Do you know, this story is an incredible picture of what God's love is like for us. Because God loves every one of us. 
we are important to Jesus, you are important to Jesus. So if you wander off, Jesus is going to come and find you. And there's two parts of the story that I love. The first thing is, they said he put him on his shoulders and carried him. I think that's amazing because God's not just going to come and find you where you are and leave you or walk alongside you at your pace. He's actually going to pick you up and put you on his shoulders and help you and support you and get you through. He's not just going to um, half-heartedly do it. He's going to put all his energy into you, loving you and he cares about you that much. And the other thing I love about this story is he says, I got people to celebrate with me. You know, he got his friends, his neighbours, his family to come out and celebrate. And every time one of us says yes to Jesus, that's what heaven's looking like. That's what Jesus is doing with everyone in heaven. Let's come and celebrate. Do you know, he loves you that much and he says you are that important. And you know, another thing to say is when he went to look for that one person, he didn't leave the other 99 sheep in this big, massive open field and they were right and go everywhere. It says in the Bible that he, he left them safely at home. He still was looking after the other 99 while he looked for the one. And you know, that's what God does. You know, he'll still look after you while he goes to find your friend or your mom or your dad or whoever it may be. That's how much God's love is so, so amazing. So whenever you think of this story, Think of it as a parable, God's love, and how he searched for you, and that he celebrates with you, and you are so, so important to him. So we're going to do a game now. There's going to be a few pictures that come up on the screen, and I want you to try and find my friend called Willie. But Willie is, is hiding, okay? So I need you to try and find Willie. But not just find Willie, you need to find what is Willie sat on the side or what does he have near him is it about the story or is it not so some pictures it's about the story and some pictures aren't so have a little um, guess and see how many you can find that are actually about the story then after we see some of the pictures fiona is going to show us our craft today so get involved with it like last week you said amazing they love seeing your prayer cards so um if you can give it a go give it a go and also our game it um, could be a really fun thing to do at home. So why don't you um, copy Caitlin and Caleb and give a little go and send us some pictures. Thank you again for listening. <laughs>